ESD files can be a stepping tool to design machine, but many designers use it wrongly and that affects their design score or even their workflow as a whole. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can get great ideas from PSD files, how you can design faster with PSD files, how you can make your design better with PSD files and much more. And the best part of this video is that I'm going to give out not one, not two, not three, but five high quality PSD files completely for free, ranging from church flyers to event flyers to business flyers and much more. So all you need to do is to stay with me to the end of this video. So I show you how to get all these free PSD files completely for free. In case you don't know PSD file, PSD file is simply Adobe Photoshop file. So it is the editable version of your designs. What I'm trying to say is that there is the file that if you want to change something in your design, that is the one that you use. So let me use this one for you. This flyer over here, you can see that this is the JPEG version of the flyer and then this is the PSD file of the flyer. What it means is that this is just the, the flat file. That is when you double click on it like this, you can see you cannot edit anything over here you cannot change anything with the psd file which is this one right here you can open it and then edit something or let's say change something in the flyer and then let's say i want to change the name to brain tech and then change some images right here what i'll do is that and let's say the details in the location what i'll do is that i'll open the psd file instead so the psd file is the one that i'm going to use to change the details of it so let me open it and if you have photoshop installed it will automatically open in photoshop and then as you can see it has opened here in photoshop as you can see i have access to the test details and then i can change names and all that so let's say i want to change this one to brain brain tech okay now i want to stretch the rectangle behind the brain tech so let me right click and then select the rectangle and then control team to transform Press on OK here, press and hold on Shift on the keyboard, and then drag this one to the side, like so. Press on Enter, then you pull the brain tech in the middle of the rectangle, like so. I'm gonna reduce the size to like, let's say 28. Something like this. So I've changed the name of the flyer, and then let's see if I want to change the contact details. So I'm changing to something different. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 something like this now one thing is that after changing something maybe you want to save a different version of the flyer that is you want to save the new edits as a different file so that if you want to make changes you don't have to go back to the first one but you want to continue with this one so maybe you want to keep the first version of the flyer and then you want to create this one too as a different PSD version. So let's say if the clients want you to now change the brain tech back to Rix, you don't have to come back here, but you just go to the previous PSD file. That's what I mean. So I'm done changing the name for this one. What I'll do is that I'll press and hold on Control Shift S, and then this one will pop up. And now I'm not going to save it as Team Swings, but I'm going to save it as, let's say, Team Swings 1. So now if I do it like this and then I click on Save, I'm going to have Team Swings. PSD file and then Team Swiss one PSD file. I don't know if you get it. Yeah. So you are going to have separate PSD files. Now, if you still want to change the details straight away from a particular flyer, you don't need to change anything. That one, if you press and hold on Control Shift S, you don't need to change the name. You just use the name now. And then that one is going to save the PSD file inside the old one. So it's going to replace, replace the old one, and then everything will be like that. If you don't understand what I'm trying to say, comment down below in the comment section. And if you get me to, let me know. So apart from Photoshop, you can open PSD files in some other software. And some of them have some limitations on how you can edit some of the things in there, like the smart object and other things. But softwares like Photopy and Affinity Photo works fine. Sometimes you see a particular flyer and then looking at it, you see that no, there is something that is in there that you cannot create it or you don't know how it came about. Now. If you get a PSD file of that particular flyer, you will be able to decode and see how that thing came about. Let me use this flyer for instance. Okay, so using this particular flyer over here, where you can see the focus trend. Now, let me open it and show you something. So, this is the JPEG file. So, I cannot actually edit anything. If I really want to decode something, I need to get the PSD file of it. So, let me close the JPEG file. This is the PSD file of the design. Now, let me open it and show you something okay so let me hide the guide so to hide the guide simply press or control h to hide the guide now as you can see i have grouped the layers very neatly so you can easily decode and see how everything was done so i want to decode the background and see how the background was done now what i'll do is that i'll come down here to the layers panel and as you can see bg bg stands for the background so i'll open it up click on this arrow here to open it up and now you can see now let's start from the bottom so and you click on this one 
you can see what I did over there. Click on this one, you can see what went away. Almost there, yeah, you can see. Yes, and you click on this one too, you can see something changed. And you click on this one too, you can see something changed. And then when you click on this one, too, you can see something changed. And then this one too, you can see something changed. So you can actually see the various layers that came about to form the particular background. That is what I did. Now, in this particular, there is a font that I used. And then the name of the font is Nexa Rust. Now, there's one thing that I want to emphasize. That is, if you are using a PSD file where the fonts are like this, you can see. That means I don't have the fonts installed on my PC. Now, what you are going to do is that you can see the name of the font is here. That is Nexa Rust Slab. Now, if you really want to use that particular font, it's very simple. Just go to your favorite browser and then click on New. And as you can see, just search the name. So Nexa Rust Slab Font Slab Font Download. And as you can see, you get a lot of the website. The font is one of the reliable ones and you can download it and then install it. Let me download it and install it for you to see. Okay, it's done downloading. Let me go to my download folder. Folder. So here is it, right click and then open or extract to next that this thing. So this is the font. Let me open it, the font folder. So this is the fonts, a lot of them. Let me select all of them right click and then install everything has been installed successfully now let me open photoshop again okay so after installing the font and then opening photoshop it has to automatically reflect sometimes it doesn't reflect because the font is a bit complicated so you can simply search i mean the font that you just installed so let me search nexa nexa rust okay so let me just select the one i yeah this here so as you can see this is the font that i used perfect so that's how you can get the font exactly and use it on your design if you don't have it installed already it's very simple just get a name go to your browser set the name plus font download and then you are good to go now let me show you how after decoding everything and understanding everything how you can easily use some of the elements in the particular psd file on your player what you do is that let's say there's a background let me cross everything so let me copy the entire background to a new layer now i can do that in two ways the first one is that i can right click and then duplicate group and then i'll just click on this one and then click on new and for the new i can name my file so let's say if i'm going to create a new church flyer i'll just say church flyer Zai. and then i'll click on ok and now this is going to open a new project with the background already there that is the folder already there as you can see another way that you can easily do that is that you can go to file and then you go to new and then set your dimensions the first method was if you want to use the dimension as same as the dimension of the main design let's say if the main design is 10 by 10 and then the new design that you want to design to is 10 by 10 and you want to take the background and tweak it into a new design just copy the element and it's going to create the size and everything impact for you but this one we want to change the size we want to keep the width 10 and then the height to let's say 14 so click on create now this is what i want to create now so what i'll do is that i'll go to the file that i have that is a psd file that i want to copy something from that is this this one right here uh, this one i want to copy onto my new flyer that i'm going to design so what i'll do is that i make sure that that one is selected let me close this one up close this one up so there's the one there's the one that is selected and then i'll drag it like so and then you can see you have to bring it up here and then when you see the plus sign beneath the arrow and you bring it to this layer and then you drop it like so so ctrl t and then you expand it to cover the entire area or wherever that you want to make it cover and then you're good to go okay something like this you can enlarge it a bit more to cover the entire space yeah so that's how you do it that way so there's a background that i copied now i don't want to just copy the background if i'm to create forward and all that i want to change the color first so to change the color as you can see this is the first layer and this contains the color so let me double click on the gradient overlay click on the gradient right here click on this first color click on this one let's say i want to change it to it's a blue as you can see click on ok change this one to to a lighter version like so click on ok click on ok 
and click on OK again. And as you can see, we have completely changed the background to a different color. You don't want to use the same Holy Spirit. Maybe you are designing for something else and not the Holy Spirit. So just turn this one off or you can completely delete it from the group. And then maybe change some things right here. I say, I don't want to bring this lighting effects here. So I can easily delete it or even delete, go ahead and delete this one too as well. And now go to file, place embedded like this one. So let me put this one up here, enlarge it a bit. Click on the check mark like so. And now as this one is selected, go down here to this part, click on this one, make sure that the layer mask is selected. Click on it and make sure that it is selected. And now press on B for the brush tool. The brush is too big, so right click and then you reduce the brush. The size of the brush is too small. You can use the right square bracket to increase the size and then the left square bracket to reduce. So you can use this as well. Make sure that you are using a soft round brush. Make sure you are using the soft round so the hardness should be zero. Now the size is okay for me. So you can click on this part and then press and hold on shift on the keyboard, bring it to the side, click on this part as well. After doing that, you simply go up here, click on this one and then set the bend mode to somewhere of slides. So we reduce the opacity to 50. We'll go down a little bit a bit more. Yeah. And then there you have it. You can see this background came from this background. But you can see they are completely different because there are elements that in there that are different. You can do something more. You can add some things more to the background to make it entirely different. So that's how you can actually use PSD files. You don't just pick everything straightforward and paste it on your design. But how do you find all these PSD files to learn from? Yes. That is why I created this video. See, high quality PSD files are not for free, but because I promise you in the beginning of this video, I have to deliver to fulfill my promise. So, I'm going to give you five PSD files for free. As I said, it's ranging from church flyer designs, event flyer designs, business flyer designs, and others. So, this is how you can download the folder that contains all the free PSD files I am giving you. For you to be able to download this folder that contains the free PSD file is very simple. Just go down to the description of this video click on this part more and as you can see free premium psd files click on the link right here it will send you to my seller page and then you are going to see free premium psd files click on it and now you can see get now and you click on get now you don't have to pay a dime click on checkout click on continue confirm your details click on continue and then you can see Hi, Emmanuel Poka Boadie, thanks for your purchase and blah, 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 blah. So you wait for some time and then it will link you to my Telegram page where you can simply click on the down button here. I have already downloaded it so you can download it and then you can just use it right away. As simple as that. If you encounter any challenge, let me know in the comment section and then I'll help you out. So after downloading, all that you have to do is that you just have to look for the folder where the download was saved. So mine, this is where I saved it. It is a ring wrap file, so we just need a ring wrap. And I think 90% of you, or let's say 99% of you has a ring wrap. If you don't have the ring wrap, it's very simple. Just go to your favorite browser and then simply search ring wrap download for PC. Click on the first link, the download link right here, and then you change the language from techie or whatever, whatever to English. After changing the language, you just click on download, and then it will be downloaded right here. It's not that big, you just click megabytes, and then you install it on your PC. So, after downloading the real rack, here is it. You just have to double click on it, yes, and then install, and everything will be installed. Just click on OK, and then you're good to go. Done then you are good to go so let's go back to where i have saved my psd file so this is a folder where my psd file is this is it so you right click on it and then what you do is that you go to remora and go to extract to free in your psd file click on that one and then you wait for it to load and then for some few seconds it will finish and you are good to go so it's done and this is the folder double click on it double click on it again and as you can see these are the premium psd files this is it can look at it by itself high quality you can go to it and then decode how i did this you can go to it you can use change the names and everything use it for your business you can learn from it now mind you the images are not included so when you open it you can't see all these images you can simply paste your own images over there these are images of people i can share with you so that one you can use your own image for that and blah 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 so that's how you can access the premium pnd file but if you need some more 
I got to come. All these PNG files were designed by myself from scratch with all layers grouped and arranged so you don't get confused with them. All these are available for you to learn from. But the good news is that you're not going to get only these PSD files. You're also going to get some things like textures, backgrounds, premium fonts, color samples, mockups, and many others. All in this package. Now, when you hear some things like this in one particular package, you may think that, oh, then the package will be very expensive. But no, it is very cheap as compared to the value you will get so currently there is a 60 percent discount on this pack so go grab it before it comes back to the original price now i will leave the link to access this package in the description so check it out there now if you want to understand and learn how to create a solid or complex background for your chest flyer designs then this video right here is for you check it out and learn more until next time guys quench not your creativity peace